What up, YouTube world? Entering the shitter region. Why? Because I gotta go. Just got home from uh, work. Might hear some noises. It's all right. Oh, don't be scared. Ploppity plop plop plop. First off, let's see if we can reach the light. Oh, there you go. I haven't made one of these since the apartment days. Close the door. Let's see if a little natural lighting will help. Got a couple cards the other day. Amaro, five star to 25. I missed a booklet on Sunday because I was traveling. I, I knew I had something and I didn't even bother looking. And then I looked probably an hour and a half later. I'm like, fuck. So I knew there was a booklet I was watching or bidding on and I missed out. So I was not happy with that. 25. And then the old Pulsar. Number to f Josh Johnson 5-5. Five, five. Oh. Uh. See how I can maneuver this. I think it's an eBay uh. acquisition. And a few things I probably normally wouldn't get, but the main reason I got it, there's a one one attached. You can see my fat thighs. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Salvi Perez, Goldie. If you want that, Chris, let me know. Probably won't after it's been in this near proximity of my man region. Braden Bishop. God fucking. Ugh. Miggy, it looks like. There's somebody else in the end. Andrew Stevenson. First chrome. So that's not bad. A little toss and bonus that way. Everybody likes a little toss. A uh, couple cards that are not PC. They are available. I wouldn't need a ton for them, but I wouldn't, uh, from the same point, I wouldn't mind holding on to them until next season. <clears throat> I'd heard in one of Tommy Golf 85's videos, he didn't have an auto with this guy, and I'm like, man, I really don't search this guy, but after going through seeing one card, I'm like, Got that for fairly cheap. Number to two ninety nine though, so but a rookie auto of one of the better corners of the league. Xavier Rhodes. Really didn't wanna get this, but it was so cheap. And again, the right side is solid, the left side is not. <coughs> Out of twenty sixteen I'm imagining. Uh, Panini Black Gold, ooh, multi-sport. That's probably why it's so cheap. A triple quote-unquote patch, except Latimer. Uh, they're all paint patches, probably all from some Woolworth, Oklahoma jersey. <clears throat> Number 44 that has no name on the back. Uh, or Indiana, my apologies. Um... Nate Sudfeld, Tevin Coleman, and main reason I got it, Jordan Howard. I figured at least that'd be a little something if somebody wanted it. And then the reason I saw those cards and ended up bidding on them is to acquire that. 
just huge purchase. Amaro to plate some patches. I think I missed something else of his too. So my diligence has not been of the doest kind. Uh, boxer, oof, what a train wreck. Mm, of course, why wouldn't I have my box cutter on? This could take a while here. Of course. Okay, it helps. Not much though. I got a PSA card too, and I taped the tape to the PSA slabbing, which quite puzzling to me. At least put the fucker in a graded team bag or whatever that I don't want this tape. And it doesn't really stick, but again if you can't get it off quickly that first time. Oh Christ. I got a, I got a couple cads that uh, one that I'm not going to show because it will be going to somebody. I want some semblance of surprise. Wasn't much in this group this week. There was, but again, nothing I was jonesing for. But uh, Hardcourt Futures, what do you do, Hardcourt Rookie, uh, Chris Bosch. Got that for a dollar. Again. Upper deck at the time had the same vision <clears throat> that uh, Panini would later steal. You can see the silhouette there of him. Same picture. <coughs> Got that. 69. Start sucking. Amaro. The Rifleman. Nearman 7. This is the PSA card. Out of 87, 88 Fleer. I lost a Derek Harper, I completely spaced on. I was hoping to get that too, because I think that was either his rookie or second year. Check out the back. The Rifleman. This was cheap. They even have like a $13 sticker on it, but... Again, for anybody that collects any heritage, baseball or otherwise... They know how tough this shit is to find and to get for a cheap price. And then you got this for a rope four fifty. So I just bought a Johnson off eBay for like close to eight. But it is the black refractor Ryan Howard? Number two sixty three top right there. Or 2012 heritage. And the main one. Um, never pulled one of these. I don't even know if I saw. I think I saw the Grieve. Who the fuck was he on there with? The Grieve. Whoever Grieve was on there in 98. But that was it. I mean, there you just didn't see these. And that's even... The players aren't the greatest, if you think of them now. Back then, these two cats were fucking the shiznit. One was a rookie of the year, I think in 93. And then the other, God, I don't even know when he came up. Ninety four, Maybe? Could have been 93 as well. But two super solid players. I, mean, I don't know if they'd be in the Hall of Fame. Probably not. But in the Hall of Very Good. And put together both some pretty memorable careers. And had some big clutch hits. And clutch moments. High pressure moments. 98 Stadium Club. Uh, one for the Mets. One for the California Angels. 
One is a sockeye, and one has, I think, I don't know if it's his brother playing in the majors now for San Fran. He's played for San Fran, San Diego, and Colorado. Same position. Co-signers. Tim Sockeye Salmon. Todd Hunley. And I think that was... And I don't think I spent more than I wanted to. I was willing to go a little higher, but I think at eight, seven, eight bucks. And I missed... There was a Canerco Jose Cruz I missed, and I'm still ruining the day for that, because those were two of my favorite guys back in the day, especially Canerco. So to get that, very, 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 very happy. Not not a shitty mail day. Let's see what it says there about Salmon. And see what it says there about Todd Hunley. This would be a fun set to put together too. Nice. Stadium Club always has clean, crisp photography. On card auto, you get some interesting pairings. Even on the back, I mean the photography is top notch. So, plant that seed out there. I don't, I'm not going to do it, but, because <clears throat> I think there's a Jeter, I don't know if 97 is the Jeter Garcia Parra or 98, but probably out of my price range for cards. But yes, that, that, it'd be a nice set to throw together. It'd be something I believe. I'm hoping somebody's either doing it or will do it, because I'd like to track the progress. Oh, so there it is, YouTube. 12 minutes of your time in my shitter. Hope you enjoyed it. Bringing back the, the Fecal Matter Fridays. Um, have a good, safe weekend. And remember what it's about. Not a barbecue. Not that day off on Monday. I don't have it, so it doesn't matter. I don't, And I got to work tomorrow, Saturday, too. So It's about the people... We fought for our freedom. As cracked up as this fucking world is now, we must remember that came those who came before us and the sacrifices, especially the ones ultimately sacrificing everything, so we can have what we have today: our freedoms, our our goods, our luxuries, our time off, our whatever. Remember that. That's what Memorial Day is all about. Not barbecues. Not drinking beer. Not going on vacation. Take her easy, YouTube. She's easy. Take her twice.